I'm here to tell you the three main things Mr. Beast is being accused for. How are you there? So recently I came out with a video with an apology for Jake Weddle on this whole Mr. Beast situation. Everybody in my comments are still completely shitting on me. We are all entitled to our own opinion. And I want to make this very clear. I apologize to Jake Weddle, but this Mr. Beast situation is still going on. If I have something to say about the Mr. Beast situation and I have more opinions, I'm still going to say them. So today's video is going to be using all the evidence we have of this Mr. Beast situation and coming to some sort of balance. Now for this video to make sense, you have to also know what he's being accused for. The three main things coming off at number one, faking giveaways. Number two, hiring child predators to his team. It sounds insane. Scene. The third main thing, torturing the participants in his videos. The internet's even trying to say he's racist and homophobic. Selling inward $400 money. Uh, the most I would pay is like $300. Sorry, $400 is just out of my price range for that type of stuff. All right, I guess I can see the racist one. Chris Tyson's his best friend. How could he be homophobic? We have to make it make sense. That's why we're making this video. Mr. Beast faking giveaways in his video. Five minutes, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to put $1,000 in a random order. And then seven minutes later go, actually, the newest order in 30 seconds is going to win. Hey, Daryl, don't we owe someone $1,000? We do. The newest order in 30 seconds, we are going to put $1,000 in your pack. There is no second giveaway 30 seconds later, like Jimmy said. Uh, this is just one very shady giveaway. Now, there's so many other claims and accusations around this topic, but I think that this video right here was the most evidential. Topic number two, Mr. Beast hiring child predators to his team. So Mr. Beast already had a friend by the name of Jake the Viking. Jake the Viking has a brother-in-law named Charles Jefferson. Mr. Beast hired his brother-in-law with everyone knowing he was a child predator at the time. Jake the Viking, that already knew everything, is trying to come after Mr. Beast. Dude, it's your brother. How could you get on a story? And, and ride on a narrative could go against you and your family. The short answer is clout, but then it gets better. The way his brother even got that tag was with the help of Jake the Viking. Jake the Viking introduced his brother-in-law, Charles Jefferson, to the minor that was 17 at the time. You are a weirdo too, Jake the Viking. Topic number three, Mr. Beast torturing his ex-employees slash participants in the videos. You got to a point where like, they weren't, they weren't turning the lights off. You know what? It's, it's, can we like have like nighttime hours? This right here is Jake Weddle. Jake Weddle is a man that worked for Mr. Beast and did a lot of videos with him. This was that one video that just went a little too far. Mr. Beast wanted to do a video, basically someone being trapped in solitary confinement. Yeah, I know, it's insane. And they said no because it would fuck up the time-lapse shots. The time lapse of what? Me sleeping? Or me not sleeping? Yeah, I saw in other videos they did a, a like, oh, you're gonna get XYZ hours of sunlight. Oh, great! Well, I don't know how they figured that one out. I didn't have it. <laughs> You know, I did, one of the things was you got to take away your clock so you didn't know what time it was. Okay, I got no access to sun. I got no access to clock. I don't know, like, the, the, the lights are on me all the time. I wasn't sleeping. I I could not sleep. And I I have insomnia problems now, um, it, but I, I, they might have started there. It just leads me to one question. Mr. Beast offered you $300,000 to participate in a solitary confinement video. What would you guys do? Would you go through everything Jake Weddle went through? See, at first I was having a hard time understanding Jake Weddle's perspective. You get offered all this money to do this video that you knew you were going to do. It kind of looked like it made sense. But in retrospect, I don't think I would want to go through any of those things that Jake Weddle went through. With the competition being so high as well, nearly every video and topic and idea being done already, I can see why Mr. Beast has got himself into this point of being exposed. The man nearly did everything real to start his channel. Peter Pie, Peter Pie, Peter Pie, Peter Pie, Peter Pie. Logan Ball, 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 Logan Ball. 3300, Now I want to double down on the fact that none of these things are true. These are all allegations. I don't know if they're true. You don't know if they're true. I'm just here for the people that didn't want to do a bunch of research and wanted it all just sucked into like one video. And if you want more videos like this that are very short, informational, and helpful, let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts and General, of what you think of this whole Mr. B situation. I'm still wrapping my head around it. I'm gonna be dropping two videos a week, guys. Like and subscribe. I also post daily shorts. So until next time, I'm gonna see you guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs>